Today, I'm gonna to show you seven killer Google Gemini gems that will absolutely change your life. We're talking about AI that can write for you in your writing style, design logos in seconds, or even have your own personalized psychologist. These seven gems are just the tip of the iceberg. Stick around towards the end of the video where I'll share a website with hundreds of more Google Gemini gems that you can start using today. It's a good day to talk about Google Gemini gems because it is now supported in the free tier and Google gems now use Gemini thinking model, making them smarter. So smarter gems and free for everyone. So let's get started into the first gem. When you're on Gemini in the bottom left, you'll see this little gem icon. We can click it and this is the gem manager. We can click new gen and you can give it a name, you can add your instructions, and you can add some knowledge. And then you can actually start previewing talking to your gem. The first one I'm gonna show you is this one here, which is right for me, like me, and that's what I titled it. We gave it a persona, basically saying it is an expert writer, and its goal is to write content with the word count, whatever we need, and it has overall directions, step-by-step -step instructions, and it's a pretty long instruction. And it is going to take our knowledge. So in Gemini's Gem Manager, we can actually add files and we can upload our files. So I've uploaded two pieces of writing, which is writing that I did myself. So now Gemini is going to take that writing and it's going to clone or try to clone my writing style exactly like I would write it. So now when I go to Gemini and I open up this gem to talk to it, it will write in my style. So let me show you. Write a one paragraph story about the three little pigs. And it says, here is a one paragraph story about the three little pigs based off the documents that you provided. So we have the three little pigs left their home to build new houses. The first little pig was not very smart, so on and so forth. See, it is using very simple language because I uploaded a document that had very simple language in it, and that's what it was cloning. So it does a very good job at matching my type of text. To try the same prompt, but using just regular Gemini. So you can see, the distinct architecture visions, which is not very human. So we're going to copy this and I'm gonna show you the next gem. So this one is called Humanizer and this one has some instructions to make it more human-like text. So we can actually paste in our story here and we can hit submit and it's gonna rewrite the story to make it more human. Well, three pigs went out. Each pig had a different idea for a house, which sounds a lot better than the three little pigs had a distinct architecture vision. Yes, the three little pigs did have distinct architecture vision, but no one really believes you wrote it like that. So the humanizer gem. The next gem I wanna show you is the logo creator. So this logo creator will go through a series of questions with us to design and help prompt the perfect logo. So hello, I'm logo creator, your graphic designer. So please tell me about the brand or purpose of this logo. An AI YouTube channel. That is asking me what colors I want. So I said, I like red, black, and white. I was saying if I want a specific shade, I said any shade of red. And can you make the text say Franklin AI? So it says Franklin AI. I like it strong and memorable. Speaking of memorable, remember me, subscribe. So you can come back and watch more of these AI videos. It's asking about what shape. So I said any shape. It is giving me variations of the concept and I can just say generate. Go, It just generated based off the series of questions it asked me. The fourth Google gem I'm gonna show you is the landing page generator. This one does exactly that. It is going to create a landing page for whatever you need. So it's going to ask the user the following questions and then based off the questions, it's going to generate a landing page and it even tells you the output format. So let's give this one a try. I need a landing page for a YouTube AI channel. So it says, okay, what is the name of the channel? What kind of AI content do you create? So we're gonna answer all these questions. I answered all these questions. Franklin AI is the name. I create videos about AI. Staying subscribed allows people to stay up to date. The audience is general and anyone interested, so on and so forth. For key features, so we have a modern design, a clear call to action, a friendly tone, engaging content, social proof, and a responsive design. We're going to just paste our code in. Now we're going to open it and here is the landing page that it 
just created off a single prompt, a dose of AI. We have our clear subscribe button, unlock the future of AI today, and then frequently asked questions. And since I only added one, it gave us one. And it said, what our community says, Franklin AI is so good. It's like having a robot friend who explains AI without making my brain melt. This perfect? No, but it is a single prompt that we can go back and talk to our Gemini gem to improve it. Let's say you're not a coder and you're stressed out going back and forth, getting your landing page to look perfect. This next gem is for you. So you're going to take on the role of Dr. Peter Rogers, a clinical psychologist with over 10 years of experience. Hello, Dr. Roger. I've been struggling with my landing page. I've been talking to Google Gemini Gem to create one. It works, but it was stressful. Hello there, and thank you for reaching out. It sounds like you've been working hard on your landing page, and that process, while productive, has been quite stressful. It's very common for creative projects, especially those involving technology, to bring about stress. The pressure to create something effective and functional can be significant. It's important to acknowledge that stress and recognition is important. For instance, are you experiencing perfectionist thoughts or perhaps a feeling of overwhelm by the scope of the task? Would you be open to discussing what aspects of the landing page creation were most stressful and how we can work towards a more manageable approach? So don't worry, Dr. Rogers is here to help. As you can see, you can have a good back and forth conversation with him and he will help you get through whatever stress that you have in your life, including creating landing pages. Not enough stress creating a landing page? Well, don't worry, let's move up to Python. We have the Python Code Master, which does exactly that. It can help you with code, it can help you problem solve, it can work through code with you, or it can generate code. So if we want it to generate code, we can see what kind of game do you want to create, what are the basic rules of the game, and do you have any preferences regarding libraries and frameworks? So I just want a simple game, and I said code a simple game, and this is the questions it started to ask me. Now we can say we want it fast, move with arrow keys, random cross the width, three lies, you decide the font, and the player collector should be a circle with two smaller i. And here is the game that it just created. So we can see our score, which is the total number of subscribers that our face is collecting. Every single time we miss one, we lose a life. We have three lives in total. Just like that, we created a game using our Python gem. The last gem I'm going to show you before I show you the way to access 100 plus gems that you can just quickly copy and paste over is the Astrology Insight gem. Hello there, I'm the Astrology Insight, your guide to exploring your fascinating world of your birth chart. I'm excited to help you discover more about yourself through the lens of astrology. We're going to put in a fake birthday just for the sake of this demo. So January 1st, 1980, 1 p.m. and Toronto. That's where I was born. So it says, all right, let's calculate your core placements. So based off the information, here is the birth chart. So we can see the sun sign, the moon sign, the rising sign, and we can explore what these signs mean. That is seven different ways to use Google Gemini gems. And I'm gonna show you how you can access hundreds of them right now. Shout out to me, franklina.com. I have a link in the description below, but you can go to AI prompts up here. You can even select by category. So say we wanted a code based gem, we can click that and now we can have access to all these different code based ones. So maybe we wanted this regx wizard. We can actually click that and we can hit copy prompt which is going to copy this prompt here to your clipboard and go back to Gemini, copy it over, give it a name, test it out, play around with it. And now you have a gem. There are literally over a hundred different prompts on the site. They can quickly copy and paste and use for a Google Gemini gem. And while you're at it, consider signing up for the newsletter where I will send you the latest and greatest AI news tools, prompts, so on and so forth. It's free, no spam, one email a week. How are you using Google Gemini Gems? Do you have a cool gem prompt that you wanna share? Well, in the top right, you can hit the little profile icon and you can log in and create an account where you can then share your prompts, which I will approve, and they will pop up on this screen here. Plus you get a cool profile like this.
Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video because it tells the YouTube algorithm that you want to see more content like this. And don't forget to subscribe for the latest and greatest AI content because you want to stay connected, you want to stay up to date, and you can do that here for free. Just go click it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Creating the journey is yours. Unlock the future, open the doors. Ideas and inspiration, just one click. Our site's the magic. It's really that quick.